dead end. You've most likely heard something being described as a dead end, meaning that there is nowhere further to go from there. No wonder you're so restless and unhappy. You're in a dead-end job. You might be chatting with a friend. Maybe you're driving around with your family looking for a relative's house. Oops! We'll have to turn the car around. This is a dead-end street. He was a dead-end. We'll have to interview others, a police detective might say, after a witness to a crime can't provide further leads to follow. As you can tell, a dead end is anything that doesn't lead you on to other things, doesn't connect to other opportunities, has no way of going on. The two things most associated with the idiom dead end are jobs and streets. People abhor dead end jobs but adore dead end streets. The only escape from a dead end job is to leave it, abandon it, quit. To get out of a dead end street or cul de sac or no through road, you'll have to turn around. It's easy enough to get out of a dead end street, but quite a different thing to get out of a dead end job. Normally, jobs described as dead end are usually menial, low paying, boring, and repetitive jobs that almost anyone can do. Doing these types of jobs don't lead to advancement or fulfillment. The idea that jobs should provide us with advancement opportunities, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of purpose, or even joy, is a very recent development and was never the case historically. Historically, a job was always just a means to an end, a way for a factory to get products made and a way for common folk to put food on the table. Before the Industrial Revolution, most people were either farmers or artisans and worked where they lived, but were forced to abandon their way of life because of industrialization. Expecting more than just a paycheck from a job is not a bad thing, however, and industrial-style education and work are losing favor. Many people are no longer satisfied with trading one dead-end job for another and are increasingly looking to go back to the type of lifestyle that existed before the Industrial Revolution. At the same time, many others believe that there are no options besides what they already know and so do not seek to escape from the dead end of an industrial lifestyle. Seek and ye shall find, goes the old proverb, however. If you seek to get out of a dead end, you'll eventually find a path. But if you do not seek, ye shall not find. Dead end was first used to describe closed water pipes in the 1880s, but by the 1920s came to be used as an idiom to describe situations with no escape, no possibility of resolution, no happy ending. 
if you don't at least go to a vocational college, you might be stuck in dead-end jobs for the rest of your life, a new immigrant guidance counselor might tell someone. Perhaps two countries are trying to negotiate peace, but they can't seem to come to an agreement. Peace talks between the two nations have come to a dead end. A news report might start off. Living in this small town is a dead end for young people. It's best if you move your family to the city. You might tell a friend whose teenagers have lately been getting into a lot of trouble due to boredom. So, whether it's a job or a street, or something else that leads nowhere, offers no desirable path, or has you feeling trapped, be sure to describe it as a dead end.